Gotta let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away All right, guys. So, <laughs> your village coach is here. Um, today, I am at um, a location where I came to see my youngest mentee. You know, as a coach, I have several mentees of several ages, but I do have this young um, mentee of mine. I, I, I take him almost as a son, and I don't want you guys to see his face because he's quite young. And there's something special about this young man. He is very intelligent. He's in school and I've been coaching him now for a while, over two years now. The father hired me to be coaching him. So as a coach, I can tell you for a fact, it's been phenomenal learning so much about him and seeing him evolve over a period of time. And this is one young mentee that I have. He is, he acts like an adult. He meets deadlines. I give him um, some tough challenges, um, assignments, and he meets deadlines and deliverables. And I can tell you, I like him so much. Uh, he has a lot of future and um, great potentials. And I have to drive an hour, 20 minutes to see him. This is my second time of seeing him. And today's visit is very strategic, and it's strategic because um, he's a senior in college, and he's going to he's going to college. Um, he got admitted to one of the top schools in the in the state here, um, Penn State, and I'm so excited for him. Um, his both parents are doing their own part; they are really, really putting in so much effort listen this is america it's not easy to train a child and i'm just privileged to be part of the process to see that the young man succeeds don't worry when he gets to college and i go to college to see him i'll let you guys see him so just be following me with the pro with the process but right now it's too young for me to be showing you guys him. you can hear his voice when we are talking because the conversation i'm going to be having with him it's a tough conversation that a lot of parents would want to um, listen and understand. And you can share your thoughts. You can share your thoughts about it when I'm having this conversation with you. You can share your thoughts in the comment section and think if what I am telling him as his coach, as an adult, as a big brother, as a mentor, if it does make sense. Okay? So do not look at me like i'm crazy it's not one of those things that we were told when we were young but i think we have come a long way to be able to know a conversation that we can share with our younger ones our children so the next voice you're going to be hearing our voices i will say voices we are at the bar and the restaurant so we, we will be eating some good food in a short while so the food is going to be coming and we're going to be sharing together. So sit down, relax, and let's get started. Okay? All right. So, um, um, I'm not going to call his name. Ah, you guys are so, you, you, you too like gist. Act like you didn't hear his name. So we we'll use I to communicate in terms of names. I don't want you guys to know him until when I go to see him in college, when he's like 200, 300. I will be excited to share with him what um, what he's doing with his career. Okay, so you are going to college, right? Yes. You're going to college. Yes. You're excited, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you know the journey you've done so far, right? Yes. You know how intense it has been, right? Yes. You know how challenging it is, right? Yes. And what was our last conversation? What was it about? The last conversation with respect to college. What did I ask you that you don't want to do? Huh? No, that was not the last conversation. Before I come to, I came today. 
You you just knew about what happened. Oh, about, about the college. What did I tell you about social media? Oh, so oh, like it doesn't go well with my what, what I'm trying to pursue. It doesn't go well with what you're trying to pursue. Yeah. All right, guys. So, just so you know, um, my son would be going for um robotic engineering, robotic engineering, and you can't be going for robotic engineering and you want to be doing social media. So that was the last conversation we had together um, during our session. And it was a tough thing to share with him. He didn't push back any, anyways, but I needed to make him see reasons why combining social media and robotic engineering, especially within the first two years in college, it can be distracting. So um, we had that conversation together. I got that involved to help me push it in and I'm sure he got the message so how did you feel about it? I understand the reason why it's important but it's not like you like it right? (laughs) (laughs) boy oh boy you didn't like it right? yeah but it's what has to happen for me to succeed okay so you can see the reason why yeah so you can't combine robotic engineering and social media engagement there because the time you spend there you can be you can be addictive right yeah you have calculus to deal with you have trigonometry to deal with you have advanced engineering to deal with you have engineering maths instrumentation even have programming to do it. Okay, so what time do you spend on social media and then getting this in? Like, how am I gonna How are you gonna do that? Before your lesson? Before before we talked about it. That's probably the same thing like how I used to do. Mm-hmm. Just go on social media and you know when I have to do an assignment and do it, but now I actually have to spend time studying for the assignment. Assignment? Yeah. Then combining with social media? Yeah, I would just, you know, have my phone on one side and, you know, doing it side by side. Yeah. So, but now what do you do? Now I just, I just turn my phone off. Okay. And I just leave it and get out notifications, stuff like that. It's probably okay. not distracting me. I'm focusing on my assignment. Your assignment. Good. So, my next conversation that has brought me here to meet you is the aspect of um, man-woman relationship. It's a huge puzzle in our life journeys. And you're about that age where your body is talking to you, your body is pushing you for several expectations, your body is pushing you towards opposite sex right now do you have such feelings yeah yeah i, I was expecting to tell me no then i will have to call a doctor to assess you if you are human <laughs> Dude, it's a tough conversation you know you're a son okay i have to tell you the truth i'm not gonna come here and start quoting scriptures for you that that was what they did to me it did not work he only ended up putting me in a long-term problems. I, I, I became naive, okay? Most of the things I knew, I had to read by book, okay? And the worst of it all was, I went to a seminary college and I was groomed to become a priest. So it's, it messed up my mental state. And I don't want you to make such mistakes. Now, these feelings are real. These feelings are very real. So, as a son, my goal is to coach you, mentor you, educate you on how to manage these feelings and your expectations. The same way you set expectations for social media is the same way I want you to set expectations to manage the feelings, the opposite sex, and your studies. Always remember, robotic engineering is not a secondary school program. 
it's an advanced career. You do a lot of coding, you do a lot of Python, you do a lot of machine learning. Robotic goes with automation and automation goes with machine learning. So it's not going to be business as usual. So career and I don't want to use the SEX word because of social media sensor. But I want you to understand when I say pecos, that's what I mean. There are two heavy projects. Career and pecos. They are two heavy duty projects. So if you are lifting two things with your two hands to climb a staircase, what happens? heavier you might fall down so you need to do what you pick it up one at a time now you can also decide to pick one 80 percent and the other one 20 percent so that you can be able to have balance to know that okay if you need to let go something you let go the small one so right now if i were you you gain knowledge about focusing and that focusing for example has a lot of energy invested in it. The energy in pickles can distract career. The energy in career will not distract pickles. No, it will even pull it. But the energy in pickles will distract career. If it was not on social media, I would have called it the way it is so that it will sink into your head. So, what do you do? this feelings is going to come but you need significant knowledge about it how your body responds to it what are the possible things you can do if you need to get to that do you understand your body do you understand the body of the opposite partner you need to understand these are the things that i as a coach i'm supposed to be giving you those guidance in as much as it's not a priority, I need you to understand that the consequences of getting into it when you have not understood your own self first is very dangerous. This has nothing to do with religion. This has nothing to do with what people are saying. This has everything to do with you. So you need to set your expectations. Okay, fine. Opposite uh, partners they are great companion they are great um, resource to my life of course you need it but the question is how do they fit into my future goals can i manage the energy that comes out of this with my career goals if the answer is no son i expect you to focus on your career and have this as a less distraction in your agenda and i don't have the same is what it's a devil's workshop and unfortunately there is no devil anywhere you are the devil for yourself if you choose to go through the distracting energy for now now interesting part is this i would advise even my younger or my children or my younger ones stay away from this other energy it's fun it's fantasy because you have more time more resources more maturity age to enjoy that when you're done with your bachelor's your parents want you to go all through to masters come on you have all the time in the world though, to enjoy all this i won't even talk to you the most i will call you and say hey, hey son how far now? Who is on board? Who are you talking to? How are you doing it? You need to stay safe. You need to be able to manage things well. Those are the kind of conversation I will have with you. But going to college, it is very easy for you to get distracted. Now, the next question is this. What will make you get distracted with the cuisine adventure? It's a project on its own. I'm telling you this. It's a project on its own. And you don't want to get distracted. If you keep companies with people, all they tell you about is how to go and carry pickles, how to go to club and do this. I'm not telling you not to explore that. Set your priorities straight. You need those experiences. 
but not at the expense of your studies. If you decide to visit the club or follow your friends to sports center or follow your friends to birthday party once in a month, I don't think it's a bad deal. But I will not do it in my first year because your first year is when you determine what CGPA you are going to graduate with in college. I don't expect you to come out with anything less than 3.75 for a start in your first year because you don't know the things that you're going to be dealing with. So you need to focus on your first year. Now, all these things I'm mentioning to you, they will always be there. Son, they will always be there. They will always be there. I see, I went to school for four years. I didn't get into it. And for me, it was because I was constraining myself in school. I had to look for money before I come to come and go to school. But you now, you have father and mother who are giving you support. They don't even want you to work while you're going to school. So why do you want to add extra distraction? I'm, listen, I'm being honest with you. It's fun. Your body needs it. But the question is, can you handle the energy from here and the energy you need to pursue robotic engineering? Do you know if you can handle the two? You don't know. Have you tried it before? I don't know. I mean, I haven't done it. Okay, good. So you cannot determine that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So why don't you want to gather knowledge about this? I don't stop you to have opposite. I'm sure you have opposite um, partners. I mean, opposite um, SEX as friends, right? You do in school. You talk to them, right? You talk to your female classmates, right? Yeah. You have them as friends too, right? Yeah. But you don't get into that right now, right? Yeah. Good. It's the same thing. You can associate with them. You can talk with them. I do have um, a 22-year-old. He's in his um, 300 level as well. He comes to the house all the time. His name is Charles, actually. Charles was telling me on Sunday how one of his classmates, he's in Bowie State, um, wants to help him up with some of the assignments. He struggles with calculus. So she wants him to come to the room, her room for him. He's a very fine boy too. He didn't go. He dodged it. He is so the same thing I'm telling you is the same thing I tell him. They are friends. But he draws the boundary. There is time for this. There is time for this. So if you occupy your mind with your studies, an American system, they load you up with assignment, mad assignment, mad ones. Yeah. And I will tell you that calculus advanced trigonometry um engineering mathematics your python your ml that's machine learning almost you have enough to deal with too this is robotic engineering you will not have enough energy to process this other energy thing to the end now if you begin to yield yourself to it make sure you balance your studies this other one will lead you to dropping out if you don't manage the energy well. And here is what I always say. While you are looking at your book, after you've gone to have some good time with, you understand, with your opposite, and then you come back to be reading at your book, you have an assignment to, to deadline to meet tomorrow. You're probably not going to see your numbers anymore. You are seeing what you just finished. If you don't have the intensity or the courage or the maturity to manage the two it can lead to disaster that's why i needed to have this conversation with you it's a tough one but i have to tell you the truth we've come so far for you to allow a temporary fantasy to distract you this is america the course is overrated Everybody wants to do it everywhere. But guess what? Because don't pay bills. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. What pays bills? Is this one you are going to do in third state? Good. 